being outside on a beautiful spring day enjoying all the beauty of God's creation just brings me so much joy and peace and today I'm sharing with you time I spent at a garden party which is what you're currently seeing just this lady's farm and her flowers she has and just a little bit of her setup and also my time in the garden so at this garden party it was so fun it was my first time there she had a little cottage and this little this cute little play cabin for her grandkids and it was just such an adorable little place and the time there was so fun spent with new people um fellowshipping with other people i already knew and so we bring plants and exchange plants get to take lots of different types of things to grow in our own garden so i ended up getting quite a few and then she had some fun door prizes as well that you'll see me open later that i did win and it was just a blessing and a great way to start off the spring season and today was such a hot spring April or beginning of May it was May 1st actually day and so it got to 95 and we were just spending the majority of the day outside in the garden playing just enjoying the beautiful weather So as you can see, I came back from the garden party with a plethora of variety of perennials for my cottage garden that is by my garage. I hope to extend it here in the future. We've really been trying to work on our backyard um, just to kind of arrange it in a welcoming, inviting way and a way that we enjoy being out there in it. So I got some different plants like hollyhocks and sedum and oh goodness some irises and some bee balm just so many different varieties oh some daisies that I am going to enjoy in my cottage style garden. If you're looking for a way to get perennials for your garden I highly recommend trading or asking friends, neighbors, someone across the street you see that has some you like. Most of the time people are very willing to split their plants for you and share the blessing. When I'm outside, the inside of the house often does not get as tidy and clean, so it was time to do a little kitchen cleanup after lunchtime and just get that reset for the next meal and things that would be happening later that evening in our home and that's just something I do like to do after each meal when I have the time is to just kind of reset everything and get it fresh for the next meal that our family will be eating together. just filmed my latest garage sale haul and that's actually my last video you saw on Friday if you haven't seen it it's in the description box um, but that was a time to do that filming when Nevea was down for her nap I sometimes try to do that get things done that I can't often do when she is awake and then it was time for an iced coffee you can't go wrong with an iced coffee when it is 95 degrees outside to enjoy a little bit of time in the pool as well just to cool off like I said it was so hot and then the next day it was about 25 30 degrees cooler but why not enjoy the little kitty pool while we have the time and just make memories
wind picked up and all of my blossoms are falling off our wonderful tree here, which is kind of a bummer. It's so gorgeous and I hate seeing them fly away so soon. Yes, I do absolutely love our crab apple blossoms on our tree. It is just such a beautiful sight to see during this time of year and sad when they go away. But um, I'm working on my more shade garden now that is actually under a crab apple tree. And um, I'm really trying to just make this look more full and filled in and just again add some more of those perennials I got from the garden party and just make it a luscious place to look at when I'm sitting on our patio. There's a little basket I got from the garden party, the door prize I won. It was so fun to open, just getting a new pot, a little garden decor, some a spade and shovel, some gloves, and then just some fertilizer, I think. So just kind of fun little thing, and Nevea enjoyed helping me open it. Like I said, on these days when I'm outside a lot, the house kind of becomes a... Um, place less taken care of but I still want to cook healthy for my family and spend time making a homemade meal so I'm just doing a sweet potato hash I pulled out some ham out of the freezer we had I added some seasonings I added some the last bag actually of my sweet corn I froze last year I added some frozen veggies and cheese and fresh rosemary and just called it a meal and cabbage it's huge and it's a little too early to put it in the ground right now here's some um, cucumber I had transplanted this is also has a pepper those are some snapdragons what are these oh more cucumber they're just thriving so some more snapdragons I think those are pumpkins some broccoli, some peppers. That was a later pepper start over there. Okay, my tomato plants, they're okay. They're not doing great. Um, yeah, they're not looking great. Then I saved this geranium from last year. Some of my other tomatoes here. And then I also saved this fern in here. So I had to share the sun setting on our um, crab apple tree blossoms and the wind died down. So after Nevea went down to bed, we did a little garage clean out. It was our citywide cleanup week, so we just took some stuff down to the curb, did a little bit of cleaning out of it, reorganizing. My husband got a new workbench, and so just spending more time again outside because it was so beautiful and so nice out. So I hope you enjoyed this and... Um, got to enjoy some time outside too along with me and I hope you're just having a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in the next one.